Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to place two things next to each other. Let's say that you have two paragraphs or two images or something like that. You can place anything using HTML and CSS. So I'll show you how to place two things next to each other using HTML and CSS. So let's not waste time and let's get started. And right now you see I have my Visual Studio code open. I mean you don't have to have Visual Studio code, you can use any uh, text editor but I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code. So now I'm gonna simply click on the Explorer and uh, let me open a folder alright so I'm gonna open a folder I think I'll work in I'll work on desktop so let me just open desktop okay so now let me just create a new file here so let me create a new file and let me call it next each other alright so next dot html and now I have the html file here open so I'm gonna press shift and number one and that will add the exclamation mark so I can press tab and it will add the snippet and this is all of the html snippets so I can say for example two things two, two things okay so I have that there now I'm gonna open my file with the live previewer Okay, so now I'm going to collapse that and we are ready to simply type in the code. So let's say that we have two paragraphs. So this is the first paragraph, alright? So this is the first paragraph, alright? And I'm going to simply make a copy of it and say this is the second one. This is the second paragraph. So you see now the paragraphs are not next to each other. Do you know why? Because they have the default display to block. So if I add a color here, so let me add some background color. So this style, I have added my style here. So let me say paragraph, all right? So I'm going to select all of the paragraphs on the page. And I'm going to say, for example, background color. Let's see, let me make it this color, antique white. So you see that the full width of this one is you know from the left all the way to the right so when you stretch it you see it's from the left of the browser all the way to the right of the browser there are a couple of ways that you can simply do it and the easiest way to set the display for the paragraphs to so display inline block so inline block and as you do that you'll notice that it will place them next to each other so this is how you basically, you know, place things next to each other. You add and you set the display to inline block, all right? But if you want to, you know, make it like by itself, you want, if you want to make it stand alone and, you know, stay by itself, you can simply say display block. And display block is the default one for the paragraphs. And uh, let's, say, let's say that we have a button. So I'm, I'm going to add a button here. All right, so, oops, what did I do? So, button, all right, so I'm going to say, for example, button one, all right, and let me add another button. So this will be button two. Well, you see, they are next to each other because the default display for the buttons is, you know, display inline. That's why they are next to each other. So now let's say that you want to do the opposite. Let's say, let's say that we want to move the second button underneath the other one. So you can simply select the buttons. So I'm, I can say button, all right? And I have the button selected and I can say display block. So you see, as I do that, and it will just stack them. So this is how you do the opposite. So now we know the difference of these two. So now let's add an image. So let me add a random image here. So I'm going to say image source. So source. And let me close it. So I'm going to grab an image from this website. And I'm going to, you know, select a, a random image. So I'm going to place it for the source. And that's one image. And let's see, let's add another one. So you see now the images are next to each other already. Because the default display property of images is display inline block. That's why they are next to each other already. 
So, if you want to do the opposite, you can simply say image. Alright, so you'll select the images and you can say, for example, display block. And as I do that, you see the images are no longer next to each other and they are, you know, stacked. If you want to uh, place two things next to each other, you use display inline block. Alright, you can use display inline, that should work too. If you want to stack things, you know, you can use display block. So you see now, this, I mean, these two images have the display block and these buttons, so the buttons are also stacked because they have, you know, I said the display to block. When you add two buttons without any styling, they will be next to each other. And we have the paragraphs here. So the paragraphs are also in line. So, uh, so actually, yeah. So if I get rid of it, you see the paragraphs are, are blocked actually. Yeah, and if I say in line block, so in line block, so you see in line dash block, they'll be next to each other. However, there is one thing. So let's say that we have two images inside of a div, all right? So a div is just a grouping when you have uh, you know, for example, let's say that you have the header, you'll be able to put the header inside of one div and style that specific one. So I can say, for example, um, div and I can say ID. Let's say I have it. Let me change it to, let's see, um, what happened here? Oh, gosh, okay. So ID, let me add pictures. So you see I have my div here and you know, I said pictures. So now we have our dev here. All right, I call it pictures with the idea of pictures. And I have two images inside of that dev. All right, and let's say that we want to select that specific dev. So I can say hash pictures. All right, so that will select the dev. And I can say with, let's see, I can say, you see now our images are you know next to each other because we don't have a div now so I mean the space is all the way you know it has all of the space but if I say for example 500 pixels you know you'll see that still they are next to each other and let me add some background color so you'll see what's going on here so let me go with aquamarine so you see that we have some empty space here so you see the images are still next to each other, but what if I had another image? So let me add another image here. So you see now, this one goes to the next line. And why is this? So you see, since this image does not see enough space here inside of the container, it goes to the next line, you know, because it doesn't have enough space here. You know, it cannot fit here. That's why it goes to the next line. So to fix that, you know, there are a couple of ways. You can either, you know, increase the size of the container, the div, which is this one, hashtag pictures. All right, so you see right here, I have this div with the ID called pictures. And I can say, for example, 700 pixels. And you see that my images will simply be placed next to each other because, you know, it has found more space here, so that's why it, it went next to it. Or, let me undo that, so let me just go back to 500 pixels. Or, you can simply resize the images. So, I have my, let's say that we want to select the images. So, I'm going to select all of the images. And, I can say, for example, width. So the width should be less than 500 pixels, all right? You know why? Because if it's more than that, it will still go to the next line. So it's okay to f open a calculator. So let me open a calculator. And this is the calculator. So I'm going to say 500 divided by 3. So it will be around 166 pixels, something like that. So I'm going to go with 160 pixels. So 160 pixels. And you see now, they are perfectly, you know, next to each other. And 
They, they cover almost all of my uh, container. So now what I can do is I can add some margin left there, some margin left, and I can go about, I don't know, five pixels. So you see, I added five pixels, still it, it has it has added five to the total of you know the width so now five is a lot so i can say maybe two pixels yeah or let me go with three three works much better so you see now they are next to each other perfectly and they fit inside of my container perfectly however if you want to give more space to yourself you can simply um you know add more space to the width you know the container and you can also add more width to the images all right so the height is not going to be a big deal because when i add height here to the images so height let's say 300 pixels for example yeah you see it does not do anything and it already stretches the dev that i have this was another tip that i wanted to show you all